Hello everyone, welcome to the Micro Processor Executor 5 Practical Series. In previous session, we will study some basic programs. The first one is store the data by 32H in memory location 4000H. So, this is the required program. So, we write this instruction LXI 4000H, then MVIM 32N hold. So, these are the three instructions required. I will use the simulator and show how it works step by step. So, I am using this simulator. So I am starting the code from 8000. This is the first instruction, the second, third one. Let us run step by step. So for the first step, so with LXI it's 4000, 40 gets to register H and 00 in L. With the next instruction MVIM 32H, what happens is the data 32, it gets stored in, in memory location M, which is pointed by HL register pair. Now HL is pointing to 4000, so 32 it gets stored in register in, in memory location 4000 so here this is the output so this is what we require so 32h data it gets stored in, in memory location 4000 and then finally we have this next step is hold so this is how we execute the first program now let's go to the second one now this is the next program so what we are required to do is exchange the contents of memory location 2000h and 4000h so some data will be stored in 2000 and some in 4000 we need to exchange the contents so this is the required program <coughs> first is LDA 2000 then move B comma A then LDA 4000 then STA 2000 H then move A comma B then STA and HLD so I will explain this is the required code and this is the hex code so here there are three columns actually we have four columns the fourth is the comment I am not showing the comment section so here this is the memory location we will store this data in the simulator and execute it and explain that in the simulator so that we can get a visual uh, proper visual of the, what the flow of the program is now this is the required code which I have entered in the simulator but before th running this code we will save some data in the memory location this is the data grid so I just click here and type 2000 so as to save some data here so that I know what uh, data I am storing and the when when the program executes I know what the output should be so I am typing here 4000 and here I am giving the data as 20 okay so at memory location 2000 I have stored 10 at 4000 I have saved 20 so after executing this will interchange so at 2000 we'll have 20 and 4000 we'll have 10 so let us do the execution I'll just click on step so this is the first step LDA 2000 so what happens with LDA 2000 uh, this instructions load accumulate direct it stores the content of memory location 2000 to register a so at 2000 we have 10 and this is a register gets 10 okay now with the next step what happens is we transfer the contents of a to b so here the data from a is stored to register b because uh, now why we are transferring the data to b because we cannot have a direct memory transfer from uh, to any register except a so we can only transfer the contents of memory to A only directly. We cannot transfer it to other register. So we need to uh, partially save this content from A to B. So this content goes to B. Now with the next instruction LDA 4000, what happens is the data which is at location 4000. So LDA is load equivalent direct 4000. So data from 4000 is 20. It gets uh, stored to register A. So now A has 20. Now with the next step, STA2000, so STA full form is store accumulate direct. So this instruction stores the data from register A to memory location 2000. So here we have, so this 220 from A, it gets stored to 2000. Okay, so this is the, the, the first transfer is done. Now this data 10, now it, it is to be stored in, in, in memory location 4000, but it is in B. So we cannot transfer from B to this memory location. So in the next step what we do is we transfer the contents from B to A. So now A becomes 10. Okay. So with the next step STA 4000. So the data from register A it gets stored to 4000 location. So this is we are done. So when uh, we st before execution 2000 had data 10 and 4000 had 20. Now this has been interchanged. So the last step is the halt. So that's all for this session. Thanks for watching.